Hi, I'm Dan from ControlUp. Um, I'm going to show you how to initially set up uh, your system for ControlUp Insights. If you have ControlUp 4.1, uh, you'll need to upgrade to ControlUp 5.0 in order to get access to ControlUp Insights. So please follow these steps. First, you need to exit your current ControlUp console. Closing the window will not do. You actually need to exit uh, control up altogether. Next, go to www.controlup.com and download control up. Once you've downloaded the file, run the .exe file and you'll be looking at control up 5.0. The system will alert you that your agents are out of date. Your next step is to upgrade your agents. You can do this by going to the top or root folder, right clicking, and choosing Agent Control, Upgrade Remote Agent. This will actually upgrade all your agents in one go. Next, you'll need to upgrade your Control Up Monitor. If you do not have a monitor installed, you'll need to install it now, as this is a prerequisite for the operation of Control Up Insights. If you have an existing Control Up Monitor, simply upgrade it to version 5.0. As you can see, my monitor here is version 5.0, but if it were version 4.1, then I'd be able to click Upgrade and simply upgrade it to 5.0. By default, the organization owner is the only one who has access to Control Up Insights and can grant access to other users in your organization. To find out who that person is, go to the Control Up Insights tab and click on the User's Permissions button. The organization owner will need to grant access to those in the organization who would like to access Control Up Insights, as well as to decide if newcomers will have auto access to Control Up Insights. By default, the organization owner is the only one who has permissions to 1. manage Control Up Insights uh, access settings, and 2. manage the user permissions to Control Up Insights. If you need these permissions, this would require the owner changing these settings within the security policy pane under Perform Organization-Wide Actions. For additional configurations and restrictions to access Control Up Insights, go to the Access Settings button. Within Control Up Insights Access Settings, you uh, enable two-factor authentication by email or using the Control Up mobile app as well as restricting access according to email domain or by selecting an IP range. Under the Control Up Insights tab, to see that your data is actually being uploaded to Control Up Insights. As you can see here in the last field, it shows under Data Upload that my monitor is connected and is uploading information to Control Up Insights. Troubleshooting, if anything goes wrong, will show up under the status tab and will show you an error message. If you get an error message, go ahead and send it over to support at controlup.com for assistance. If your monitor is not uploading data, this might mean that you have a proxy in your organization. Please make sure that the controlup monitor has access to uploads.controlup.com.s3 dot amazon aws dot com server you can also check if you have a problem with data upload by clicking on manage data upload and within the data upload tab that the data upload to control up insights checkbox is indeed checked after completing all these steps please take into account that it will take around two to three hours until you have any substantial data in control up insights as you'll need to allow two to three hours for the initial data upload. Thank you.